Welcome back to the Fierce Fish First Tech Challenge programming tutorial series. Our goal in this series is to provide simple and straightforward guidance in programming an FTC robot. And in today's video, we are going to be installing the FTC dashboard. Now, what is the FTC dashboard? It is this um, plugin created by Team 8367 Acme Robotics from California. It can be used for a multitude of different things, but in the next few videos, we're going to mainly focus on using it to tune PID variables and other variables. So kudos to them for creating this awesome application that many teams can use, including ours. So we have to go through the process of installing it, and this is kind of a, I wouldn't say it's a lengthy process, but it's, there's definitely quite a few things to do and scroll through to get there. So we have to start out in the Gradle scripts here with this, the one with this little elephant. We're going to go into build.release.gradle for the FTC robot controller. You'll see there's another one down here. It's for team code, but we want ours for the robot controller. And now you'll see there's kind of just the big block here. This like it's the dependencies block. So we have to add a line at the end of it. And that line looks like this implementation. And then this is the dashboard um, calls call sign, I guess you can call it. And it's make sure you get this down so that you can install it properly. And it's going to say, ask you to sync. So we're going to want to sync now. And this shouldn't take very long at all, as we see there. So and then we're done in the Gradle scripts after that. Now we have to go into the FTC robot controller and tell the robot controller what we want it to do while everything's happening. So we got to go into the robot controller, Java, internal, and then we got to go to this one here called FTC robot controller activity. And let's scroll back up to the top there since I was playing around with it earlier. So there's a lot going on in this class here, but let's not focus on exactly like what's going on. Let's just do what we need to do and kind of not mess with anything else because we don't want to really mess with anything here. So we got to go now to the on create void. And we got to scroll through and look for here it is on create. Now we got to go to the end of the on create void. I have it bookmarked beside me as line 383. And we have to add this line of code in here, FTC dashboard dot start. And that is when the app opens, the FTC dashboard is going to start everything that it's supposed to start in here. Now we have to go to on destroy and put the line for destroying the program. So that would be right here. We got to go to line 464 here and add FTC dashboard dot stop. And that once the app is closed and they call it destroyed, the FTC dashboard will in turn stop. Now we need to go and populate it's called populate menu, and this essentially creates a button on the robot controller for like doing, it's for mainly for disabling the robot or this plugin in competition because you can't have it on during competition. So you're gonna need to turn it off and we're going to want to go to line 317 and you'll see exactly where that is once I get there. Okay, we're here. After this, it's in this little pop-up menu thing here. After the dot inflate and before the dot show, we're going to do FTC dashboard dot populate menu. And then we're gonna wanna go pop-up menu dot get menu. And that is going to create our menu, it's going to populate all of the things that it's going to internally do. And we don't need to necessarily understand how this works to know that it works, but that's just how you would get the menu. Now we need to go down and actually populate the menu. And there's a public Boolean down there called on create options menu. So we're going to scroll down to line number 530. 
fix. Here it is. On Create Options menu, and right before the return, we're going to insert this line here, FTC dashboard dot populate menu menu. And now after that, the menu should be all set. Now we need to attach our web server because this is how we're going to access the dashboard for everything that we need to access the dashboard for. So let's go down to line number 673. Right here. And we're going to insert this line of code right here, FTC dashboard dot attach web server. We're going to go service dot get web server. And that is going to make it so that we can have our IP address to get to the dashboard by connecting to the network on your robot controller phone. Now we need to attach our event loop so that we can edit the parameters in here. And this is going to be at line 713 right before we end. I don't even know which one this is. This is request robot setup. So we're going to go here, FTC dashboard dot attach event loop. And then it's just going to be a event loop in there. And that is everything for installing. So now that we've installed it, we are going to go and build this and make sure we didn't make any errors. I don't think we did. And now we've built it. So now we have to, I'm going to show you now how to access the dashboard. So if you're connected to your robot controller phone's network, you're going to go in here. You're going to go to your IP address, which I'm pretty sure that is the same IP address for everyone. And we're going to go slash dash. And now here is what you will, actually you'll see this. It's going to look like this. Your camera's here. you got a graph. You can select your op modes, configuration, and telemetry. We don't have any op modes accessible by the FTC dashboard yet. We're going to go to that next in the next video. And then we're going to work with all of this. I like to keep it on here so that we can see where the robot is on the field. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on how you set up your program. And that's how you access the FTC dashboard. I think that's going to be it for this video. We installed the FTC dashboard to our robot controller phone. And next video, we're going to work on actually using it for PID tuning. So from all of us here at Fierce Fish, we hope you have a great day.